Hey my friend, welcome to Joey's Tech. This is Joey and in this video you are going to learn to write a Java program to print even numbers between 1 and 100. I am going to be telling you two methods using which you can accomplish the purpose of printing even numbers between 1 and 100. So let's deep dive into coding the program straight away. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon because that way you won't miss out on these programming tutorial videos I create for you. I am in my IntelliJ ID already. This is my project and I'm going to create a class now. Let me name it uh, even numbers one to hundred. Okay. There you go, class created. Now, let me begin with creating the main function first for which I'll simply write PSVM and IntelliJ is going to create the main function for me. Now, even though this program is about printing even numbers between one and 100, but we are going to code this program in such a way so that you can print even numbers between one and any number A. For that, we are going to declare one integer variable and we are going to call it A. Because the program is about printing even numbers between 1 and 100, so we are going to keep the value of n as 100 only. Okay, now we are going to start a for loop that is going to begin from 1 and it's going to end at n. The variable n holds 100 as the value as of now. The loop is going to increment in steps of 1. So let's write for int i equals to 1 because it's going to start from 1 and i will be less than equal to n all right and i plus plus means that the loop is going to increment in steps of 1 now the age-old technique of determining if a number is even is to divide it by 2 and check if the remainder comes out as 0 if the remainder comes out as 0 then that number is an even number i represents the number that we are scrutinizing so it will be if i modulo operator to comparison operator zero okay now if i passes this check then we have to display the value of i because i is an even number how we display the value of i of a variable by using system dot out dot println okay so within the brackets we are going to write i then we will write concatenation operator space why i am giving the space over here it's for the next even number basically because all of them are going to display next to each other that's it the code implementing method one to find the even numbers between one and hundred is complete let's run the program and check the output there you go all the even numbers have been printed but unfortunately all of them are getting printed in new lines it's because i have used to print ln over here it should be print rather than print ln my bad let me run this program again and all the even numbers will be displaying next to each other like this all right so these are the even numbers between 1 and 100 now let's implement method number two to print all the even numbers between 1 and 100. We are going to make a few modifications in this for loop only. The first modification will be that the loop is going to start from the first even number between 1 and 100. What is the first even number between 1 and 100? 2. So let me replace this one with 2. Now the loop is going to run till the value stored in the variable n. We are not going to make any change over there. The next change that we are going to make will be in the third component of this for loop. Rather than incrementing this loop by 1, we are going to increment this loop by 2. So if the loop starts from 2 and if we increment the value of i by 2, then the next value after 2 i is going to give will be 4. Okay, after 4 i is going to give 6. So straight away, i is going to give us all the even numbers and that's the trick. So I'm going to replace this i plus plus with i plus equals to 2. Okay, now the loop is going to increment in steps of 2. Now since i will be representing only even numbers, we don't need this if block over here. So let's remove it. 
we only need to print the value of i and that we are printing over here okay the program is complete let's run the program and check the output the output should be the same and there you go the program has printed all the even numbers between 1 and 100 using method 2 with this we have come to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed learning this program from joey's tech do let me know in the comment section if you got any doubts and if you like this video then hit the like button and tell me in the comments what did you like about this video i look forward to helping you with java programming and only for this video goodbye and take very good care of yourself